Ah, good word, Good morning. Good morning. How was the night? My night was good. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. What kind of nonsense is that now? Oh my god, baby. Ah. Why would you fart in my face like that? Don't see your fat smells. Baby, nature cold. Alright? Ah. Damn, my What kind of nonsense is that? What's wrong with you now? What kind of nonsense is that? What kind of rubbish is that? You stupid. Why would you fart in my nose like that? Ah. What did you just do? Why would you stun me your phone? Are you okay? Is that why you broke my phone? Oh, yes! I will break it again and again! Do your worst! Sandra, I told you to replace the television you destroyed before I returned from work. I can't see anything here. This is a new phone. I have replaced your phone I destroyed. Replace the television you destroyed before I return from work tomorrow. Stop, please. I should stop what? Can't you see I'm reading? Are you trying to say this book is more important to you than making love to your wife? Sandra, can you stop ranting like a lunatic? How am I ranting like a lunatic? So I am now ranting, rant, ranting like a lunatic, eh, Charles? Okay, will you just stop ranting? Honestly, you're disturbing my... Can I just have peace? So me, I am ranting now. Oh yes, you are. I am ranting. Yes. Do your worst. Do your worst. Stand up and face me like a man. Do your worst, Mr. Man. So I want you to make love to me now is the problem, eh? Look at our son, he's five years old. Instead of you to be eager to make another one, you're here reading, reading this nonsense book. I've mixed you. I've mixed you more. Mm -hmm. See this one, you're not going anytime soon. I'm here for you, babe. <laughs> My goodness. 
Charles and his wife will not allow us to enjoy our night today again. Eh? Even today that my baby came to visit me. What, what is all this? <sighs> Seems they always choose to have their fight whenever I'm around. No, baby, it's not like that too. This is what they do like every other day. It's not because you're here, not at all. You see these people, it's either they are quarreling and shouting on top of their voices or at right fight. That's what we see in this company every day. I don't understand, sir. You don't understand what? I mean, what don't you understand? Wait, wait, wait. What insult? What don't you understand? How dare you fling my book like that? Is the book more important to you than your wife? Is it more important to you than your wife? Hey, Charles, Sandra, tell me. I've been keeping quiet, though. Keep quiet. I've been staying on my own. Don't say, do act like a man. Ah! Talk to me. Huh? Yeah? Are you okay? What, what's wrong with you? Why you hit me like that? Why would you hit me like that? Why would you hit me like that? Eh? Is this book more important to you than your wife? What kind of nonsense is that? Sex, 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 sex. Are you stabbed? Are you a stabbed man? Yes, I am. Your wife. I'm stabbed. That's what you are. Give it to me. I won't. I won't give it to you. I won't give it to you. Too bad. Please, will not allow them to spoil our show for us. Let us go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, honey, they've started fighting. My goodness. Oh my God. What, what is this? What is all this? I told you. I told you this is what we've been seeing in this very house. Fighting, fighting, fighting every day. Husband and wife. Eh? Are we going to run away from them in this house? I told you, I told you, just look at it. They've started fighting already. Honey, you need to do something. You need to talk to your friend. You really need to do something before he hurts her. Who? Me? I mean, for how long will I continue to separate fight in this house? Did I come to this place to come and be separated only fight? Do I look like a wrestling referee? Please, I'm tired. Do you know that the last time I went to separate them, I received a very heavy punch on my head. Thank God it wasn't on my eyes. Maybe by now I'll be using one eye. Just because I went to separate fight. And that very day I swore never to get close to them again whenever they are fighting. Fajim Bog. But babe. See. You need to do something. I am not going there. These people have their way. I don't want to go there and receive another point. Who knows what they will do to me today if I get there. Please allow them. Don't let them spoil our own mood. They've chosen what they want. This is what I want myself. Come and give it to me, my baby. Oh. I love you They refused to open the door for me. You can't believe it. After standing there knocking, 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 they refused to open the door. Rather, they were busy fighting and fighting and fighting and shouting on top of their voices, destroying things in the house. My dear, it was something else. But what surprised me was that all of a sudden, they all went quiet. I couldn't hear their voices again. I was only hearing the voice of their son crying in there. I don't know what has happened to them. I don't know what has happened to them. Honestly, I'm very confused right now. Should you call the police? Police? And tell them what? No, if you call the police, you tell them what? I don't know. These people have fully given me sleepless nights. I don't just know what to do. I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Oh, yes. <laughs> After this, I'm having more bottles. <laughs> no, I don't mean the beer. 
I mean, the wound on your head and what brought about it. Are you really enjoying it? I don't get it. You see, Charles, you are my very good friend. Ndi go sinaba to be mad on one year. In fact, our friendship has crossed over to maybe relationship. I think presently we are more like brothers. And to that effect, I owe you nothing but the truth. So I think it's right I tell you the whole truth about everything. What truth? You see, Charles, please. Don't misunderstand me. If you ask me, I will say you and Sandra are not compatible. Yes, because the constant fighting, quarreling, and destruction that always happens between two of you is not something to write home about. And people are really complaining. My brother, if you listen to what people are saying, you will shiver. Honestly. Johnson, I am so ashamed of you. I am so ashamed of you. Who are the people? People are you. Pognosa. People are you. You are the problem. Not people. Or do you think I care about what people say? I don't care a damn about what people say. You're the problem. Nonsense. Stop looking into my mother and have peace of mind. You see, Charles, it's very obvious. I don't need to ask anybody. At least we are neighbors. I see how often you people fight, destroy things in your house, quarrel all the time. My brother, I don't mean to insult you, but if you ask me, I will tell you to reconsider your marriage with Sandra for your own good and for her own good too. I mean, for the betterment of two of you. Johnson. Yes? What are you insinuating? I should divorce my wife. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. No, 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 with a shot. Do you know how much I love my wife? Do you know how much we love each other? Just love and compatibility are not the same. And what we are talking about here is compatibility, not love. A husband and wife must love themselves and also be compatible. No, 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 no. Shut, shut up your mouth. Love and compatibility yourself first. What? You're putting eye into my family affair. No, 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 no. shut up. Love and compatibility yourself first. Nonsense. Just Talk to you yourself. Into. Where are you going to? Professor, talk to yourself, boss. Daddy, welcome, mm -hmm. sir. How are you? This anger on your face, is it for me or for someone else? Is he not a stupid man that calls himself Mr. Johnson? Because I decided to sit with him and have some drinks, he thinks he can open his mouth to speak peoples. What did he say to you? Imagine that stupid man telling me to divorce you. What? Is he mad? Of course he's mad. He has gone nuts. Yes, he told me to divorce you that we're not compatible. Imagine. Okay. What did you do to him? You see, baby, I will never interfere in their business again. From today, if they want, let them kill themselves. I will never get close to them again. What kind of nonsense is this? Honey, calm down. I take it easy. Honey, calm down. Calm down. I take it easy. Can you imagine he got angry with me just because I told him the truth? You know the truth is bitter. Yes, I told him that they are not compatible and they cannot believe as husband and wife. He got angry. Claiming that they love themselves so much, then for how long would they continue to live like cat and mouse? If they love themselves, why would they be fighting every day? What kind of love is that? Before you know it, he flamed up and started shouting and quarreling and picking offense with me. Honey, please calm down and take it easy. You're getting yourself worked up, and that's the part I don't like. I don't blame him. I don't at all. I blame myself. For, for even mingling into a, a, a different person's affair. What would you have me do? Was walking out on him not enough? Hey, if I was the one that said such nonsense to you, would you have walked out on me like that? Eh? Wouldn't you 
you have put this your fist to work. So he said all these things and you ran away. Woman, watch your language. What do you mean by I ran away? Yes! If you didn't run away, what did you do? Wait, are you telling me now for me to go and beat him up ruthlessly? Come on. Eh? Woman rapper? Sandra, you called me a woman rapper. Mm -hmm. One more stupid or trances from you, I will slap you. And I will slap you back. If you raise your hand, I will raise my hand too. You're talking back at me? Yes, I'm talking yeah. back at you. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Where do you think you're going? Do you want your lunch or not? I want to do this one first. <laughs> Read your book, okay? We're just playing. It's more expensive than mine. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'll get it for you. Wait. Can you hear that? Mm. Please let them be. People might think you're crying more than they bereaved. Besides, this could be a passing phase in their marriage. They might work things out somehow. <laughs> you don't know them. Those two. <laughs> you don't know them. You see, Charles and Sandra, nobody knows them more than me in this apartment. I know them too well. They can never change. Wait, wait, wait. It seems they are fighting again. And so what? If they like, let them fight from now to eternity. That's not my business. Nobody will see my feet in that house again. Honey, it's not fair. Honey, it's not fair. We need to do something before they hurt themselves. Let them kill themselves. I just told you how you insulted me just because I intervened. Please, I, I don't want to get involved again. Please. Even at that. I think this time I want to take a nap. Can you cover me? It's not fair. It's not fair. We will miss you. I'll miss you too, baby. I'm going to miss you too, but I'll back soon, okay? Okay, my love. Yeah. Let me help you. Okay. Uh, I need to look good for me. Look with me, I'll never wish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now you look good. Good to go? Yes, 100%. Alright. Alright. I love you. You know I love you more. <laughs> <laughs> so, you need to hurry. Oh, yeah. Like six, seven hours back, okay? No, that's too much. <laughs> Have your way, you check me to work. I know. Yes. Is it back from Charlie? Sure, like um, six, seven hours in back, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> what I prepared for dinner. <sighs> okay, um, rice and stew. Oh no, come on. Guess again. Um, no, you guess. Okay, I prepared masala soup and fufu. <laughs> hey! No, 
Yes. Please, oh, I, I, I can't wait. No, you need to question up first. You really? know I won't let you eat with ah. that expression. Please, I, I, I can't wait to have Nsala. You will have it. <laughs> hey, hey, Nsala soup. Yes. I don't joke with it, you know that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay, come. Come, it's all right. come, it's come, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Ah. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <sighs> so, baby girl, when are you going to replace the television? Which television? The one you broke. I mean, there is no television in this sitting room. Are you planning to leave it like this? Babe, I don't have money for a new television now. You knew you don't have money. Why then did you break the television when you can't replace it? Your phone I smashed. Haven't I replaced it? Okay. Next time, I'll look for something my money can afford and break it. Why are you staring at me like that? Come on, babe. I don't have money for a new television. Babe, where are you going? What is it? Come and kiss me. Please. Because it's our money, we should, you know, uh, misuse it. Mm -mm. <laughs> 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 My love. My baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it. I will. <laughs> wow, babe, this is beautiful. <sighs> babe. Mm, it's beautiful. So the one you broke wasn't beautiful, right? No, 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 no. This is more beautiful. <clears throat> Thank God I broke that one. Give me. Uh -uh. You've come. Don't break this one, no. No, not break so I'll break something else. Oh, baby. You've started. Baby. You've started. Oh, baby. You've started. You've started. You've started. <laughs> I have a special treat for you in the bedroom. Okay. Mm. Baby. Mm? Why now? Why? <laughs> Come on, baby, I'm done eating. Mm. You know I loved that before this. Mm -hmm. So why bringing it up now? Close this food, alright? Let's get into the room. You need to finish this first. Baby, I'm done. You can't be done. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm done. Mm -mm, baby, you can't be done. <laughs> mm -mm. 
after this, Oja, you know that energy now? Oh, no, baby. You know I have the natural energy. I right? know you so, do. Ah, baby, it's in my head right now, you know. I love the way Just you do it down, to me. Just calm down, calm down. This first, when you're done, you move there. Hi. Come on. Chasu, Chasu. Hey. How you doing now? I'm fine, my brother. Good day, brother. Good day. Are you just coming back from work? My brother, I came back an hour ago. I just went down the street to get something. Oh, that's good. And um, what about your wife? I hope she is fine. She's fine. Okay, that's good. Um, I'll be meaning to see you and discuss this with you. Okay. And um, please, I want to ask you to forgive me for the other day. You see, you only misunderstood me. There's no way I would have uh, advised you to divorce your wife. That wasn't what I meant at all. Um, it's okay. Perhaps I misunderstood you too. So, my actions the other day was as a result of the love I have for my wife. You see, I don't know if I will survive it if my wife leaves me. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, but I want to ask, does your wife also really love you this much, just as you love her? Yes. And that is why we got married. I see. Uh, in that case, don't you think it's good if you people see a marriage counselor? Because of the way things are going. Marriage. Since you love each other this much. Marriage counselor? Uh, yes. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, please, eh? Champions League will soon start, eh? Oh, hey, you watch much. Oh, yeah, now, good night. Oh, Just you. extend my greetings, eh? I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Yes, my oh boy. How are you doing? Welcome back, honey. Thank you, darling. Did you get a painkiller? Oh, yes, I did. Thank you. Oh. What are you trying to do? I want to turn the tunnel. But you made us watching the movie. Babe, I have a live football match to watch, alright? Babe, please. I beg you in the name of God. Go to the viewing center at the next street and watch your football match. Mm. And let us watch our movie in peace. Are you insane? Listen to yourself. I should go to a viewing center and watch a live football match because you're watching some sort of stupid movie. Is this the first time you're watching football match there? Eh? I'll do that when I choose to. You can do that now. Sandra, give me the remote. Sandra, give me that remote. Give me the remote. What are you trying to do? Don't come close to me. <coughs> what? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. These people in green. Sandra and Charles, are we going to run away for you people in this compound? You know what? Let me just pretend as if I didn't hear you. Charles and Sandra, I didn't hear your voices. Good night. Charles, you people should stop fighting. You will hurt each other.
Yeah, yeah, listen, 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 son. Your drink and whatever thing you have for rub, you should wait. Then go straight to the point where we're here. Yes. There's your word, please. They don't. Um, a chas. You see, um, our people say that when a man is loaded with baggages, when he gets to his destination, he has to bring it down first before engaging in pleasure. So we want to bring down this load first before we engage in whatever it is that uh, you, you have for us in this house. Okay? Honestly, I was surprised when my wife called me and said, Papa is here with you people to see me. When I spoke with him on the phone, he never mentioned coming with you all. Well, you have seen us. <laughs> We're here. Charles and Sandra, we've had a series of reports and stories about two of you. But I purposely kept quiet, believing that time will correct all anomalies. Mm -hmm. But instead of getting better, it becomes worse. Well, I must be very blunt with you. You are a bunch of disappointment. Yes, you are a disappointment to me. Uh, uh, Charles. My in law. See, Chas, our people say that uh, cola not last longer in the mouth of those that value it. If you understand the essence of marriage, your home will be peaceful. I hope you I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, Mama, honestly. I don't understand. <laughs> yes, because my wife and I, we're enjoying our marriage. Mm. Yes. Really? We have received yes. lots of reports about your daily fights. How are you fine when you fight every day, every now and then you're fighting? How? And the most painful thing is that there's an innocent child in this house. Oh. That sees all this violence and wickedness that both of you are dishing out to one another. Yeah? Oh. Hey, like I said earlier, we are enjoying our marriage. We are fine. I mean, take a good look at my wife and I. Do we look like people dishing out wickedness and, uh, you know, fighting with all sorts of weapons like knives, guns, bottles? We look like people are attacking each other. We are fine. We are living good and we are happy with each other. Yes, Mama, we are fine. In fact, there is no cause for alarm. Will you shut yes. up? What do you mean by no cause for alarm? I don't get it. Where you fight each other with knives, bottles and all that? And you sit there to tell me that there is no cause for alarm. What do you mean by that? Can you imagine what you are saying? Can you imagine the nonsense? The danger you are exposing? This innocent child. Can you imagine that? And you are here to tell me that there's no cause for alarm. You are telling me! Papa, thank you, ah. please. Please calm down, alright? I mean, <laughs> what you heard is from enemies. You know, they're trying to pull us down. I mean, like I said earlier, we are just fine. fine. We are fine. Child, yes. Okay, you are fine. No, you are fine. Let us believe you're fine. Until the jack of womb, then we will not know we're fine. My hero, let's believe you. Hey, Mom. Welcome home. <laughs> Barrister, daughter of mine. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. How are you doing today? As you can see, your mother is doing great. Mm, that's nice. How is work? <sighs> Head sick, but I'm enjoying it. Ah, good to hear. <laughs> Yes, Mom. So, how did the meeting with Sandra and her husband go? I wouldn't say it went well. They said they have no problem. In fact, their husband said that they are good and they don't need any interference from anyone. 
but they are fine. Mom, that's nonsense. The father was there. His father heard what the son said. Mom, see, I still maintain what I said earlier. We need to take their son away from them. We need to take that boy away. Otherwise, they will keep polluting the mind of that child. Don't forget that they are the parents. That child is their son. We can't take that boy away from them based on the circumstances we have now. Taking that boy away is uh, impossible. It's okay, I know what you're saying. Something just has to be done. How do you with me? <laughs> she will be fine. I just hope so. Honestly, I hope so. She will be fine. Because this is getting out of hand. I know. Helen, how are you doing? I'm fine, barista. Um, so, I was around the neighborhood. Okay. So I decided to come see my little nephew. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you. You're welcome, it's nothing. So, how is my sister's son doing? Any improvements from what you told me the last time? Barista, I must confess, there is no improvement at all. His daddy gets worse every day. He doesn't mess around with the children. He's quiet in the class. He's so, he, he, sometimes he cries often. And I feel he is depressed. Depressed? Oh yes, he is depressed. I, I think he, he has psychological problem. Are his parents aware of this? Oh yes, I visited them last, last week. I visited them last week to find out why the child is behaving the way he does. To, and also to know if they had the maid in the house that matrix the boy emotionally. But I found out that they don't have any maid at home. They live all alone. So, when you told my sister about this, what was her res response? Her response was negative. He didn't say anything. Negative? Oh, yes. Negative. Hell enough. All right. Bye. You don't seem to understand that what you and your husband are doing is gradually destroying your son. <sighs> Please, Miguel. You can insult me as much as you can. But I beg you in the name of God, do not insult my husband. Then if you don't want me to insult your husband, you both should stop behaving like barbarians. Maybe you're going too far, and I won't take it from you. If you have come here to insult my husband, I suggest you leave my house. Sandra, what has come over you? For goodness sake, what has come over you, Sandra? Do you realize the emotional trauma you're making that little boy go through? Do you? In case you don't know, you are gradually breeding the monster in him. Maybe our son is fine. My son is fine. There is nothing wrong with Dennis. Besides, who told you Dennis is emotionally traumatized? <laughs> His mind at school. Yes, his mind at, at, at the nursery care. She was here last week. Why did you have to lie to her that he is not going through any uh, uh, unusual stress? Why? I don't understand what you're talking about. Hey. Uh, Welcome home. Thank you, darling. How are you? Oh, fine. Oh. How was your day, beautiful? Hmm. Just have you sit first. Oh. Okay. <sighs> well, my day would have been better. But my sister spoke it for me. How? She was here today. She came here to rant. She said we are a bad influence on our son. I don't understand. Yes, she said that we... that our son needs a psychiatric care. That our fighting has gotten into his head. Is she kidding or what? My five-year-old son needs a psychiatric attention. I mean, is she going nuts? Does she think here is America? This is Africa. My son is going to grow up past whatever he's facing now. I mean, don't mind her. But how can she just come into our house and tell us what to do? If you ask me, I really do not know. 
But I asked that to mind her business and leave us alone. Very good answer. That's right. Come on, chill, baby. I'm back, okay? Come on. <laughs> hey, my sweetheart. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. I am. At least you're fine now. Yes, I mm -hmm. am. <laughs> oh, baby girl. <laughs> Making salad soup and pounded yam for me, okay? I'll be coming back with two of my friends. Okay. Done. You know your kitchen tested and trusted, right? Trust me. I trust you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you soon. Hey, come on. I don't like that face, baby. I mean, I have to go, okay? Bye. Salad soup and pounded yam for me. Babe, I'm sorry. Okay, tomorrow I'll make the salad and pounded yam for you, but you can manage this. Will you, will you, will you shut up. Shut up, you lazy fool. I asked you to make the salad soup and pounded yam for me. You can't just do that. What am I going to eat with my friends? I asked you. Babe, okay, fine. I'm sorry. Tomorrow I'll prepare the pounded yam and the salad soup, but please, you can manage this one. You're very, very stupid. Shut up your mouth. 
So I should come and eat rice with my friends. Are you okay? I already told him I'm coming to eat salad soup and pound and you're bringing out rice for me. Hey, just, 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 just imagine. This! You're so stupid. You're so stupid. You are so stupid. You are so you, In fact, you're, you're, you're a foolish woman. Nonsense. What did you just do? What did you do? To the fire you gave. Nah, eh. I bet. No, come on for this house. Let's see. Let's see. What is it? What's the problem? Ah, let's see. Let's see. Do you think I'm going? just come into my house and take away my son without my consent. I tried to stop them, but they overpowered me. I hope they didn't hurt you. You're good, right? Don't worry, we'll go tomorrow and get him back, okay? My grandson is uh, psychologically and emotionally off. He's destroyed because of what he sees both of you do to each other. Charles, how could you two fight in front of a little boy? How could you do a thing like that? Isn't that madness? How does it look? No sound in your ear that you two are fighting in front of a little boy. Your father is so angry with this. Your wife chasing you on the street with a knife. Two grown adults abusing themselves, domestic violence. Do you think that is the right thing to do? Can't you stop before you kill each other? Can't you? Um, 
Mama, we are sorry for the pain and humiliation we brought this family. We deeply regret our actions and we promise to make amends. That's exactly what I want to hear. Sandra, be submissive to your husband. Charles, love and respect your wife. Such sacrifice will make you enjoy your marriage. It will bring peace to your home. Domestic violence is not enough. It's not a good thing. You two should stop abusing each other. Domestic violence is a no-no for me and to the society at large. You two should stop it. Sandra, did you hear what I said? Yes, He's with your, her sister. Okay. Okay, let me thank you. Uh, you heard what I said, Jess. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. you. I suggest you let him stay here for now until you both are able to sort out your marital issues. What sort of nonsense are you talking? Listen, Dennis is so traumatized now, okay? So I suggest you, you let him stay with me until you... No way. He won't stay here with you. We are taking him with us. Sandra, you heard me. Charles, listen to me, okay? Let him stay. Let him stay so that you guys can sort out your marital issues. Hey, Mabel, if you want to nurse a child, I suggest you go get married and have your own child and leave ours alone. Sandra. Sandra, you sit down there to talk to me like this because I'm trying to help your family. You are not helping my family. Rather, you are tearing my family apart. What kind of nonsense family is this one? Eh? You always meddling with other people's affairs. You don't have anything to do, they should not jump into the lagoon now. Eh? What's all this nonsense? Eh? Sniffing here and there, putting her here and there. I don't understand. And I ask you, 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 I'm talking to you. I ask you, eh? Is it that your family don't have any good thing doing with their lives? Hey! Must they meddle into my affairs? Just that you're useless and stupid family. Just hold it right there. You can insult my sister as much as you can, but what I won't take is you insulting my family. I will insult your family, will you shut up? I will insult them. Wasn't it your family that came here to take away my son? How is my son their concern? I ask you, how is it their concern? Nonsense! Eh? That's your stupid, useless and hopeless family won't allow me drink water and drop cup. Your family that is stupid, useless and jobless. I'm talking, you're talking. I am talking, you're talking. You know you don't have proper home training. And I've been living with that. But I won't tolerate it. Yes, I will not tolerate it. I will slap out the hell from you. Nonsense. Foolish woman. Uh, nah, come, eh? No, stand up and fight me. Stand up and fight me. Rubbish. Useless man. It is your family that is stupid.
Are you not happy you've been discharged from the hospital? Johnson, I'm just thinking. Thinking about what exactly? My wife. I'm still wondering why she didn't come to the hospital to see me. <laughs> she can't come to the hospital to see you now. She's in police custody. Police custody? Yes. What happened? My wife? What happened? Well, the police arrested her because of what she did to you. So oh she's there net now. So she's in the police custody. No, 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 no. Which police station, please? You see, Charles, we are just coming back from the hospital. So I suggest we get home first, we freshen up, cool off before we start talking about your wife. Johnson, please. Can you just take me to the police station? We're talking about my wife here. I need to go and bail her. Please. Let's get home first. I'm just coming from the hospital to go drop you home. Let's jo go home first. Johnson, Johnson, if you're not taking me to the police station, please drop me. Drop me. Let me go and get my wife, please. Ah, what? Drop, pull over, pull over, please. Oh, yeah, wait. Johnson, pull wait, over. It's okay, let's go. It's okay, let's go. Welcome home, baby. I hope the police didn't rough handle you. No, they didn't. They didn't touch me. But they insulted me. Don't mind them. That's their way. Mad people. It's okay, huh? I'm so sorry. Alright? I missed you so much. I missed you more, baby. Like, I missed you like mad. I almost choked. You know you're my heir. here when the police came to arrest me. Who even called the police? Honestly, babe, I don't know. It's alright. We'll go get him tomorrow. Okay. It's fine. You're welcome, baby. Mm -hmm. Come on. I'm tired. I know. Come on. Let me take you straight to the shower. Clean you up then. What can I do for you? Good day, mother. Cut the cut, see Charles. What do you want? We're here to take our son. That's not possible. What do you mean by that? You see, I wouldn't want to waste your time. Neither would I want you to waste mine. I am taking Dennis to the welfare home since you don't want him to stay with me. You do no such thing. Mabel, what do you mean by that? Why would you take our son to the welfare home? If only you both understand these words, a mother and a father, then Dennis will be the happiest child alive. You see, Mabel, I wouldn't want this to go beyond the family circle. Please, give us back our son. Have a good day, Mr. Charles. Call me a week. 
Something has to be done. Because if you let this slide, who knows? They might do something worse than what they have done already to themselves. No, I, I have a bad feeling about this. Then what can we do? Tell me, what can we do? Kifa What can we do? Eh? What can we do? Please. I know what to do. You know what to do? You know what to do? Please, please, you have my, you have my consent. You have my 100% You have my 100% Biko, do it fast. So how are you feeling today? I feel much better. That's great. I just left the doctor's office and he said you're responding very well to treatment. So very soon you'll be leaving here. But where is my husband? Your husband? Why do you ask after him? I want to see him. Um, listen, you need to concentrate on yourself right now, okay? Concentrate on recovering. You can't see your husband right now. Why can't I see him now? Because he is in the police cell for what he did to you. Sandra, listen, you need to relax, okay? Just can't you you I No, no, I I want to see my husband now. You will see him, okay? No, you I will will. To, no, I want to see him. Trust me, you will see your husband. Okay, I will go get your husband. Just like no, no, I want to see him now. Officer, this is our door. Jesus. Charles. Good afternoon. Are you Mabel Ikedi? Yes, I am Mabel Ikedi. As you can see, we are officers from this command. There's a case of a kidnapping of a five years old boy. In that case, we've come to search your house. Officer, hold on. Kidnapping? Was that what they told you? Charles! Okay. You. You told them I kidnapped your son? Officer, please do the needful. Kidnapping is a serious case, a very serious case in this country. Oh, no, okay. you, you told them I kidnapped your son? We need to search him. Oh, oh, okay, officer. Tell them we need for that, okay? Let me get a bit of voices. It wasn't long enough for What's the best one? Also arrest her. Don't worry, man. Let's go to the station. Let's go to the station. Yes. Order. In this case, you have to go to the station. No, why? But I, I just. Move, move. Say move. Kidnapper, move. Move, move, move. Ah. Sandra. Kidnapper, move. Can you learn to mind your business? Move, move. Try trafficker. Move, Jerry. You know the line, you're going against it. What nonsense. Well, madam, from what I have heard now, this very matter is purely a family affair. Honestly, it is a family affair. I would advise that you take your children home and talk to them yourself. From what is said, I discovered that 
Mabel has very good intention about the child. But then, when it comes to custody of a child, the parents have upper hand. There's nothing we can do about that. So take your children home and resolve this matter amicably in the family. Ah, DPO, thank you so much. And um, I'll take them home and do exactly as you have advised. Please do, and that will be good. Thank, Thank you so much, sir. I look forward to a good result. Thank you. Interfere in anything that concerns them again. Never! You can't say that. They are still your family. Mom, do you imagine the scandal? If this gets out to the press, maybe I'll hear the kidnapped her sister's son. But that, can you imagine such headline? Honestly, Mom, I have washed my hands off in this matter. They should stay on their own, and I will stay on my own and maintain my reputation. You can't say that. Don't forget that it's you that told me that we should save this boy. So don't back out now. If you back out, history will have it that we failed. So let's save this boy. Mother, I understand that I don't know about Charles's background, but Sandra, <laughs> Mom, where did she get this kind of weird character from? Because no one in our family had such weird character. She took after your father. She took after my dad. Mm -hmm. But that, that wasn't this violent when he was alive. I mean, I never saw the both of you fight when he was alive, so... Your father was very temperamental. Your father is exactly Sandra. Sandra is exactly like your father. The only thing is that I am the opposite of your father. I knew exactly what you say when he's triggered. When your father was about to get violent, I knew what you say to massage his ego. I knew what you said to make him feel like a real man. I knew how to talk to your father even when he's very mad. You were just 10 years old when your father died. So, you don't know much about your father. You, you talk with so much emotions. I have never seen you talk this way before. You see, what is going on between Sandra and the husband is that they are both temperamental. They don't know how to talk to each other. Sandra is just like your father. You see, in that madness, I told myself that any day your father lays his hands on me, that will be the end of this marriage. And I thank God he never did. So Sandra and the husband are just temperamental. That is the problem they are having now. Mother, are you saying that Sandra and her husband are not compatible enough to be husband and wife just because they have hot temper? Yes. They love each other quite, that's quite right. But love is not enough for marriage. 
you have to understand the man that you are married to or you have to understand the man that you're about to get married to if you're married already you try to understand who you're married to if you're not yet try to understand the man you're about to get married to learn how to talk to the man learn if you should find out if you two are compatible enough to live together as couples that is the basic thing in marriage not love love can sustain marriage but compatibility yes it hurts me that I never discussed with your sister before she got married I failed her we never had this kind of discussion before she got married. Come on. Come on, Mom. You don't blame yourself. She made her choice and that's it. At least I should have told her about compatibility. I think I failed. Come on, Mom. See that. Don't see that, okay? Hey, 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 money, Mary Pillow. Then I need to monitor this family. I find that me wrong in the name of Ow. Jesus. Amen. Any girl, any Amen. woman that wants to come between me and my husband, she will not succeed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I break that leg. I break that eye. In the name of Jesus. Cast them by. Cast them by. Never open this door. Just. Johnson. Why is he knocking like that? Open, just open. Never. <laughs> Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Are you blocking? Yes, we're fine. You look worried. What's the problem? Honestly, I'm worried though. You know, I remembered what happened the other time. I don't want a repeat of it. That's why I have to badge in. Huh? I don't understand what you're talking about. I heard your voices from my room. I was so worried that I couldn't take it. You know, as a good neighbor, I now have to rush in at least to save the situation before it degenerates into something serious. So because you heard our voices from your room, you think my wife and I are fighting? Exactly. Uh, please, I want to advise, eh? just my good neighbor. Whenever you are having this kind of serious argument with your wife, instead of turning into something else, why not come over to my own apartment? Eh? At least, I won't mind. I can even offer you my room so that you cool off your head. Please, I don't want um, to... Mr. Johnson, save yourself the stress, right? My wife and I are not fighting. We were just praying. Oh, Ezo. That's all, oh, Mr. Johnson. We were just praying. Well, it wasn't a fight. Hey. Hi. My apologies, please. Hey. My good neighbor, please find a place in your heart to forgive your neighbor. Huh? I didn't mean it that way. Huh? Why, am I? Please, you push it. Forgive me. It's huh? okay. I thought it was a fight, so I decided to come in and save the situation. Be has here, you know? yeah. It's okay, Mr. Johnson. Please, it's fine. I'm very sorry. Hey, my neighbor, Beacon, <laughs> oh, you are winning. Um, it's okay, Mr. Johnson. You may have to go, right? Thank you very much. We eh? need to conclude our prayer. Perfect. Please pray on. Eh? Hi. Hey, I didn't know it was prayer. Eh? Why, no, it's yeah. fine. My neighbor, Beacon. Eh? Never. Thank you. You will be me. I regret you, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> What's funny in all this? Someone walked into this, this house saying all sort of nonsense. Don't you feel insulted by what he just said? Why would I feel insulted? He said he heard our voices. Probably thought you were fighting and quarreling with your wife like you always do. Why will you really shut up your mouth? Listen to yourself. Like I always do. As in what? Like... I can see how low-minded you are. Someone came into this house to insult the both of us. Because of your blockhead, you can't get it. Oh, yes. Eh? You're here smiling, shining your tattoo like a village clown. Why hey, you call me a village clown? What kind of nonsense? You scared me? Are you mad? Babe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good Can you believe I just made a fool of myself over there right now? How? What did you do? I went and interrupted their prayers thinking they were arguing over something or fighting. Not knowing they were simply praying. I 
feel so sorry. Oh my God. They've never prayed like this before. No, they do. Sometimes they do pray. Really? Um, yes, and uh, seriously, they need this prayer right now in their marriage. What kind of nonsense is this one now? Okay. Don't touch me again, no. What's oh, that? Oh, oh, oh. Don't touch me again. Oh, oh, oh. Don't touch me again. Oh, oh, oh. Don't Seems like a prayer to me. But I just told you I'm coming from there now. They are praying. I saw them. And you know what? They really need that prayer in their marriage right now. So let nobody disturb them. Let's allow them to pray. When are you sure they are not fighting? No, no, they are not. They are praying. Mm. Assuming they have been praying like this or this, right? Nobody will be having any issue with them. I saw them praying. They are only praying. Let's just leave them to pray. You see, I'm very happy to see them in the mood I saw them when I got there. I'm even sorry for interrupting. Listen, listen, listen! Time. <coughs> but, but, but not what you will do. Just calm down, they will be fine. Doctor, they are going to be fine, right? Sure. Hi. Fine. You're sure about that? Just calm down. You're sure? Madam, calm down, they will be fine. They will be fine. Madam, calm down, they will be fine. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Let me have that. Doctor, are you sure? Have a son who is five years old. True or false? True. Your marriage is barely a year, and you have a son who is five years old. Yes. Could you please tell this honorable court 
while your son is older than your marriage. I impregnated my wife. We broke up twice. The first lasted for one year. We came back, broke up again. That lasted for like three years. We came back again and decided to get married. Okay, so um, did you marry her because she was pregnant for you? I married her because I'm in love with her and wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. Good. Mrs. Sandra Benson, can you please tell those courts why you have the injury on your head? Objection, my lord. Objection overruled. You may answer the question. It was my husband. It was my husband who inflicted this injury on my head. Are you stupid? Are you out of your mind? Huh? Can't you tell them the truth for once? Can't you tell them you are the one who hit me first? You are the one who gave me this injury first? Can you just shut up and stop being stupid? Order! Why do you want to embarrass yourself here? Stop that! You don't need to be <laughs> I came to know how you're doing. Mom, I'm doing great. I was even planning to come later in the day to see you people. Okay. We will be in court tomorrow. Yes, I'm aware of that. Mama. Hmm? Please. I want you and Papa not to testify against me in the court tomorrow. I don't think your father was safe not to do that because he wants this marriage over. Just as I want it over, please. No. Both of you are not suitable for each other. Mama, I love Sandra so much. I don't want to lose her. I will die if I lose Sandra. Yes. Please, you people should help me. Both of you are not suitable for each other. Mama, don't say that, please. Son, stop this emotional nonsense and face the reality. Mama, if you love me as your son, don't be in the court tomorrow. I will see Papa and talk to him too. If both of you testify against me in the law court, you lose me as your son. Huh? Uh, so, what is it you say you want us to talk about? Um, you know the court will be sitting tomorrow. I'm away. So, I'm afraid they might invite you. Please, I beg you. Eh? Don't testify to my wife and I having issues. Eh? Please, in case they invite you or in case they ask you. Don't tell them anything about I am my wife. Please, I beg you. Of course, I have been invited to appear in court tomorrow already. Are you serious? Yes. Hey. Hey, Johnson. Huh? You're my friend. Yes. Please, I beg you. Don't appear in court tomorrow. Uh, why, if I may ask? You see, Johnson, I love my wife so much. Okay? I, I love her so much. I, I can't afford to lose her. Please, I, I know we're having issues. I know, I know, yes. I know we might be disturbing you people sometimes. But you see, I will find a way. We will find a way to sort our issues out. Eh? And start living in peace. Please, I beg you, cover me as a brother. Cover me as a friend. Cover me as a neighbor. I beg you. Oh, please. It's okay. I've heard what you said. Um, I will think about it. Okay. Yes, I'll think about it. Oh, thank you so much. Eh? Yes. Uh, let me offer you something now. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't bother yourself. Don't bother at all. I'm fine. Hey, good night.
My Lord, I would like to call the second witness to the witness box. Go ahead. Mr. Felix Douglas. Chief Felix Douglas. Chief Douglas, please. Which language? English. Christian or Muslim? I'm a Christian. Repeat after me. Okay. I. I, Chief Felix Douglas. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That the testimony. That the testimony. I shall give this court. I shall give this court. Is the truth. Is the truth. And nothing. And nothing. But the truth. But the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Chief Felix Douglas. Can you please tell us what's your relationship with the couple? I mean, Mr. Charles and Mrs. Sandra Benson. Well, Charles is my only son. And Sandra is my daughter-in-law. I see. So, how would you describe their marriage? Hmm. Disaster. Honestly, disaster. How do you mean by that? Please, um, throw more light on it. Let me tell the truth. Since these two people got married to each other, they have been fights. Fight everywhere. They, they fight like Ukraine and Russia. I mean, employing the services of dangerous weapons, which has posed dangerous and serious threats to their lives. My own father told the court that my marriage is a disaster. Despite my plea to him not to attend the hearing. And as for Johnson, he will hear from me soon. I know they don't want my happiness. I know it. This is my verdict. Having duly considered the material facts of this case, the evidence provided, and the testimony of witnesses, I hereby rule that Mr. Charles Ben and Mrs. Sandra Ben must, as of immediate effect, be separated from each other. They must never again stay under the same roof or come as close as 100 meters from each other for the court has found them to be security threat to each other. If they should contravene this judgment, they shall be liable to 10 years imprisonment. Their son, Master Dennis Ben, is hereby placed in the custody of his aunt, Mabel Ikedi, until he is 18 years of age. His parents, by their conducts, have proven to be a psychological and emotional torture to the boy. Parenting a child should go beyond meeting the child's material and educational needs. Parents must also ensure they give their children psychological and emotional comfort. And I add, Mr. Charles Ben and Mrs. Sandra Ben must not visit their son or speak to him unless he asks to do so. This, I hope, should serve as a deterrent to parents who expose their children to their domestic violence. I rise. God! Thank you for today's job. It's good you are secretive. You, you, you don't know how to live. Honestly, for the past six months, I'm there. I mean, my prayer point has been, my prayer point has been, God, this is for God. This God, please, do not allow these children to kill themselves. See, these children are giving me sleepless nights. Same here. And I must tell you the truth. I welcome this judgment with an open hand. Ah. At least they have a son mm -hmm. to show for the marriage. Yes. We're still in love. Sure. Come, yes, come. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Thank you. 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 Thank She's not my sister and I can never have anything to do with her again. I never knew she was this evil and wicked. Your sister is neither evil nor wicked. We agreed on this. Your father and you know, and I agreed on this. And it's for your own sake, for the betterment of both of you, so that you don't kill each other. I'll never forgive you all for doing this to me. No, I cannot get to meet my husband again. I can't stay together with my husband. Tell me, haven't you all succeeded in destroying my life? You saved your life. Your life is more important to us than anything you think you've lost. We're saving your life here, not destroying it. You all are just wicked. I hate you! <laughs> Mr. Johnson, you testified against me in the law court. You, Mr. Johnson. I thought you were my friend, but today I have seen, I have realized that you're one of the enemies